Our climate is changing, and we need reliable scientific data to understand the state of our environment and to reveal what the future may hold. Here at IISD Experimental Lakes Area, we have an incredible data set on freshwater health, collected over more than 50 years. Data can often be found in many different formats, types, and devices. Using a consistent language helps us better understand, use, and share those data. That's why we're working hard to digitize our data set. If you think about it, environmental data is kind of like your music collection. Let me show you what I mean. Why is data like your music collection? For over 50 years, we've been collecting a wide range of freshwater data. To better understand data, let's think in musical terms and break it down into three levels. Songs, albums, and genres. Songs. At IISD ELE, we continually measure things like lake temperature, precipitation, and chemistry. Let's think of these individual samples as songs. So one temperature sample is like the Beatles song, Come Together. And another sample is like, Here Comes the Sun. Each sample is unique, like songs from an artist's catalog. Samples are like songs. Albums. When pooled together, these groupings of samples become data sets. A data set is like an album. Each data set is a collection of samples around a common theme, just like an album is a thematic collection of songs. Our chemistry, hydrology, and meteorology data sets are like albums. Our chemistry data set is like the Beatles' Abbey Road, and our hydrology data set is like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Data sets are like albums. Genres. Whether you love hip-hop, pop, or rock, it's helpful to have albums organized by genre. When you search for new music on your favorite app, or when you walk into a vinyl store, you'll likely search for music by genre. Research topics are like musical genres and help contextualize and categorize albums and songs. Research topics like algal blooms, climate change, and plastics pollution are like hip hop, rock, and pop. So research topics are like genres. And over the last half a century, we've amassed a huge music collection of many songs, albums, and genres. How is digitizing data like updating your music collection? Over the years, the way we record and share music has evolved from analog to digital, from records to tapes to CDs to digital files like MP3s, maybe even back to vinyl again. As technology has advanced, it's also transformed the way we record, organize, and share music. In a similar way, we've collected data from our lakes using increasingly sophisticated methods, from jotting down data points on the back of envelopes to using digital trackers. In the end, the music, or data, is more important than the format on which it's stored. When music evolved from analog to digital, most of us had to go through the process of updating our music collections. Music that existed on tapes and CDs are now in digital formats. That allowed for better organization, for content to be quickly sorted and searched by album, artist, song, or genre, and allowed people to create new and exciting playlists that mix and match different songs from their collections to create something completely new. Environmental data is similar. Once everything is digitized, you can more clearly sort and understand data, look for trends, and reconfigure it in different ways. What does digital data enable us to do? As with your music collection, digital data opens up more possibilities for sharing, collaboration, and remixing. Let's start with sharing. Digital music has allowed for a larger number of music fans to access songs, albums, and genres that they wouldn't have had the opportunity to experience before. Digital data opens up the same potential for scientists to access and use those data, perhaps noticing things that had not been seen before, or using data in new, innovative ways we couldn't anticipate. Sharing also encourages reciprocity within a community, which allows members to pool their resources. That brings us to collaboration. Digital music has allowed musicians to collaboratively record entire albums together from different continents. When you're working with others in the same format, it makes it much easier to communicate with them and to work with them. This means you can more easily build on existing ideas and further explore new ideas. Finally, it encourages remixing. Digital music has enabled modern musicians to sample classic records and remix them to create entirely new songs, albums, and genres. Being able to mash up data collected from a satellite in orbit or a tracker on the ground using technologies like artificial intelligence will enable scientists to reveal trends and discover things that have never been considered before. Where will the digital data revolution take us? Music digitization has radically transformed the music industry forever. 
Digitizing, sharing, and remixing environmental data will have the same profound effect. It will help democratize information and help connect people and organizations who are working towards the same goals. Only when we fully understand environmental data can we truly unleash its full potential to better inform the decisions we make to protect the environment. There has never been a greater need for extraordinary solutions, collaboration, ingenuity, and vision. To find out more, visit IISD.org ELA.